Gang, you only got three more chances to see RU Garbage live. Yeah, guys, December 14th, 15th, and 16th, we're going to be in Hartford, Connecticut at the Funny Bone. We're going to be in Albany, New York at the Funny Bone. Then we're going to be in Syracuse, New York at the Funny Bone as the well. Ultraman. Guys, this is a great way to introduce your friends to the show. If you're coming, bring a couple of pals. Bring the squad. It's a good time. It's stand-up. We're hanging out. We play AYG. you seen the clips. What are you doing? Come out. We'll see you there. Let's go. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they go to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of shit. You don't say. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antutti's Basement. She's upstairs trying to get some people together. Okay, for what? She wants to do one of those smash and grab jobs that everyone's doing all over the country Like now. hit the Louis Vuitton or something? Yeah, she wants to hit the Louis Vuitton. Okay. I told her we were in. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Got to do something around the holidays together as a family. Good thing I brought my mask with me. <laughs> my co-host is coming at you from across the table, so you know it's a family app Circle in the wagons. KJ is in the building, everybody. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True the roof. True the fucking roof. We've been saying it for a year. Those numbers are true the fucking... Closing in on 30,000. Get us over 30,000. Even if you listen, hit the go subscribe button. Go subscribe because we may or may not have a special project coming out pretty soon on a used to. Yikes. Leaking it. Check Look it you. out. You got a tea. You got to leave some breadcrumbs. Like Toby McGuire on the set of Spider Man. <laughs> like Toby McMuffin on the set of AYG. <laughs> uh, and then obviously, patreon.com. You can sign up. You get a bunch of bonus content, episodes of AYG. Episodes of Hard Feelings, which is the, the breakout hit, by the way. Oh, everybody loves it. The Academy. Everybody, yeah. Khan's talking about it. Khan. Khan. Scott Khan. Scott Khan. Not- <laughs> Obi Khan. Uh, yeah, live streams, the whole nine yards. Check it out. It's Those, good times. That's cooking over there. Cooking. And how about a nice shout out to, you know, our producer extraordinaire, good kid wearing a Bernie's. <laughs> it starts with uh, T-Bone. That's right. <laughs> wearing a nice Bernie's crew neck that he got on the AYG presale. Ooh. Yeah. That yeah, paid full price like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> hey, you got 20% on a back end. <laughs> Tough break, that kid. <laughs> Hey, business is business, all right? <laughs> Blood sticker and water, other things. Oh, my God. Toby T Bone, it's good to see you, buddy. We had a nice ride in. I love both of you. Um, <laughs> you have never been louder in a car ride in, <laughs> in our entire in friendship. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm moaning a lot. I started with the <laughs> so, trainer. Hey, we got a butt plug in? What's <laughs> happening? Hi. <laughs> Someone got the remote control at home? What's happening, dude? Let me know, huh? <laughs> Did you ever see those videos? <laughs> me and my girlfriend are playing Hunger Games right now, huh? <laughs> no, I never saw those videos. Me either. What were we talking about? <laughs> That's what you like, electronics? <laughs> Jesus. No, not at all. Fucking creep. Not at all. I don't know why you think when I say, have you seen something, you automatically think it's my thing. That internet's a pretty big place. I got a lot of videos on there. Every now and then something comes across my screen I wasn't ready for. Or I'll peruse to see what the kids are doing. Do a little window shopping. <laughs> Kick the tires on something. See what's cooking. I wanted to ask you this. Um, what? A little step back from your pornography talk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was talking about YouTube. I don't know what you're talking about. You like you like the car battery hooked up to the nipples there? <laughs> you hear what Gippy's doing? He stuck his dick in a VCR. <laughs> hey, those videos were private. I was hacked. <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's deep fake right yeah, there. Fucking shout out to Steve Jobs. Come on, what are we doing? Um, I noticed this. What'd you notice there, big guy? Uh, Thanksgiving. I noticed this. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to get your barometer on it. Whether you think it's, <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a silly one. I can already tell. You like a turkey neck? Yeah. Um, How do you feel about gizzards? <laughs> Ooh. Gizzards can be all right. Mm-hmm. Are you a chicken livers man? Listen, you know me a long time you ago. You want to do a little pate, a little chicken liver on a nice crostini? I'll do a beef pate. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a joke from Rev Run. That really is. Uh, he had his old MTV show. No big deal. Continue. M- multiple beverages while someone's eating. 
Not at a restaurant. I'm talking at dinner at oh, home. That's insane. Like, you know, like a glass of wine, but then like a soda, a thing of water. It de- <laughs> it's very Jersey Shore. Remember those dirt balls were always drinking Gatorade at the, every meal? Sure. They always yeah. had a bottle of something. Gotta say hi, Those kids are in a gym. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's true. Uh, no, that's real trashy. I think like what we would do, we do like the big, if we're, if we're doing like a din-din, like a Sunday night din-din. I got the families coming together. Got the leaf on the table. The whole you nine sit yards. at that dining room table that we recorded the intro for. Are you garbage? At? Yeah, we'll do that. You do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Um, and then the kids will be out in the kitchen. You know, right? Uh, we'll be there. It'll typically be like everybody will be having a drink beforehand, right? Like me and my brother are probably doing a beer. Brother in law doing a beer. Ladies are doing wines. Uh, my stepdad's doing everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it'll be like they'll probably. You know, pour waters at the table. Like, you know, everybody will have, like, a water for you. No one ever table. touches that, though. Nah, rarely. The, talk Unless about I run out, run out of beer. Yeah, it's always warm and shit. Uh, <sighs> we'll do a water at the table, and then that's about it. Sometimes, like, my brother might change the wine, so there might, but it's it's more, you know, traditional. It's not like, you know, no one's got, like, a fucking milk, a, you know, a glacier freeze, and a fucking Diet Coke. Ah, my one cousin. It looked like fucking the front of a hot dog cart. Like fucking <laughs> with trays. He's got he's got those fucking ketchup <laughs> bottles in the mud. <laughs> a little bit of relish. Um, that was on my mind. Yeah, and this has to annoy you. How do you feel about people? Is it that- you? <laughs> By the way, you're thinking about my cool hat. It's cool. You, you've had, listen, you really went hat shopping in Hawaii. I, I did. really got I it. I got four hats. I got new pants. I got a bunch of shirts because you were giving me shit saying that I, that I got to up, up my appearance. Now I'm looking cool. I got some cologne going. Now that'll it's make nice. you look real cool. <laughs> <laughs> that'll hide the Frito smell. How do you feel? I don't need Fritos anymore. How do you feel about... <laughs> I'm on Doritos light now. So. <laughs> Dude, diet Doritos. I'm on baked lays. <laughs> Remember the scam? They they try the, to pull the wool over everybody. Those eyes. things can kick rocks. Oh, man. I'll punch the guy who invented those right in the fucking face. <laughs> Baked lays, my mom. Oh, I'd rather man. eat bait, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, give me a night crawler, will you? <laughs> Fucking get out of here. My mom dude. rolled in with those. Remember when they were they were doing the chips in like a different kind of oil? Yeah, that was big. Yeah, that, the, or, they like, found the, out like ate your liver or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking ugly. <laughs> well, what was it? Yeah, okay. It was like castor something. Castor oil, not castor oil. But it was something like that. It was something. Castor oil is for like ball bearings, isn't it? Uh, no, castor oil is when you have to throw up or poop or something like that. It's like an old school remedy. Okay. My mom poured some down my throat one time. <laughs> it, <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one of my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are having fun over here. A good time. Um, no, it was either that or Ipecac. One of them makes you throw up. No, Ipecac does. Yeah, she yeah. did that. Castor I- oil is like an oil. Oh, okay. For your shoes. Or I something. drank a whole bottle of t- <laughs> for your shoes. I don't know. T-bone. We got an update, T Bone. I'm trying to kill time. What are you what are you doing over there? Yeah, it's for stain and decks. Uh yeah. castor oil is a vegetable oil pressed from castor beans. Which I don't even know what the fuck that is. Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's colorless and barely pale yellow liquid with a distinct taste and odor. And then it's just a bunch of dummies eating this shit for whatever benefits. Yeah, there you go. This yeah. seems very crystals. In yeah, it's got a little, yeah, a little homeopathic. Well, Ipecac works because I puked everywhere. Yeah, that's what that stuff does. I drank a whole bottle of uh, cough medicine when I was a kid. Robo tripping? <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> Trying to take the edge off. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> art class is killing me. <laughs> got a real deep episode of Care Bears. Uh, Wanted to cool off a little bit. Yeah, she got on top of me like a wrestler and fucking <laughs> pinned me down and poured it down my throat. She does that to me, too. This, <laughs> I tell you, this broad was screwy in the 80s. <laughs> Screwballs. Dude, this shit is snake oil. It, it's Castor it's, oil? <laughs> yeah, these are the top uses. It's a powerful laxative. With, that's you're leading off with. That's crazy. <laughs> a natural moisturizer, so... Getting you liquid inside and out. Yeah. Uh, promotes wound healing. Wound yeah, healing. it's all real vague Jeez. stuff. <laughs> if you're pouring oil in wounds, that's no that's good. Not a, wounds. That's a bad Calling one. it wounds is yeah. bad. Uh, I feel like you're dead anyway. <laughs> reduces <laughs> acne, fights fungus, <laughs> and keeps your hair and scalp healthy. Nice. So Foley on the toes, Kippy on the donkey. Bat in the cycle. I like it. Um, uh, what? No, please. No, please. Eating ice. 
What about How do you it? feel? I love it. We've gone over you this. You chomp ice? Yeah. Chroma crushed man through and through. Oh, that's ridiculous. Obviously, different. also. That's dessert. I forget where we heard about? it, but it was real garbage of somebody saying a place has good ice, which we both do. Oh, yeah. They have the good ice. That's real trashy, mm. but great. Uh, one thing I wanted to run by you, which was. Uh, Lay it on me, slick. Uh, brought to my attention. Um, calling something top of the line. Top of the line. Real trash. <laughs> Top of the line is trash. I was looking at I was looking at cabins to rent and uh you know just like hole in the wall cabins and uh there was a one with a hot tub and it said fully equipped with the top of the line hot tub. <laughs> Didn't even have a lid on this thing. I feel like whoever there was leaves in whoever it. wrote that had a toothpick in their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> they, Real they, top of the line. Fit hey, three, top of the line. Fit eight bodies in this hot tub. <laughs> You yeah. fit eight broads in here. Anything, top of the line. anything you call top of the line is not top of the. What's line. top of the line? Give me a top of the line uh, item. Makita drills. Makita drills. M- Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Top of the line. Yeah, but I think. Listen, this okay. I'm gonna break it down for you. Things that are top Mercedes of the line. Mercedes Benz, top of the line. Yeah, but you wouldn't. You you know Mercedes is top of the line, so you don't need to say top of the line. You're call, when you say top of the line. Means it's not top of the line. You're going Hyundai, Oldsm- top of the line automobile right there. Oldsmobile, top, top of the line. line. Yeah, it's not. Mercedes is. I've never known anybody that drove an Oldsmobile. You ever see anybody that drove itself. a <laughs> <laughs> Kia Forte, smoke gray, speaks for itself. Boy, that's a new giveaway, by the way. <laughs> you can take over my lease. Top of the line. Oh. Top of the line would be... It's something that's not top of the line. You're trying to tell Sony's somebody. Sony's top of the line. Yeah, but you just say it's Sony. That's what I'm saying. Sony speaks for itself. Things Toomey's, that don't. Toomey's top of the line. Yeah, you wouldn't say it's top of the top of the line means it's middle of the road, and you're trying to pull the wool over. Like Kirkland eyes. Signature Brands, top, top of the, the line. line. Yeah, make a good pair of jeans though. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, you never go. To, you never buy buy clothes at Costco. I've never been to Costco. Maybe once or twice. What? Yeah, we were a Sam's Club household growing up. Maybe. Or like back to... I, yeah, no, growing up, they weren't even existence when I was growing up. That was, that was fucking truck driver shit. If you went to Costco... It still if is. you went to Costco in the 80s, you were, you were a dirt ball. <laughs> yeah. You had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't start hitting until the 90s. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. We went... My stepdad had one in the '80s, or had one had a Sam's Club card in the '80s or '90s. I thought you had to like own a restaurant back then to fucking get in there. That's what I thought. I think he pulled the wool over. Everything. You know, he's that's like the buy first some time. hotel pants. Yeah, fucking- <laughs> some busboy cards or something. <laughs> like Room service trays. <laughs> get one of those little bars on wheels that moves around. So I want to get for the house. I want to get a top of the line bar going. You do, yeah. You strike me as a bar in the globe kind of guy. No, that that's one of those. That's top of the line. That's, that's something you top think of the line. classy and is Brookstones. Hard, a lot of shit in there is top of the line. Hardcore trash. Top no of the line drone, dude. If you're say, it's 2021. If you got a globe in your house, it's a dead giveaway. There's booze in it, and it's all probably half empty. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. You got I a like bottle. A, you got like a bottle of Makers or something. A couple of white claws in there. Something top of the line. Yeah, huh? Makers is top of the line. Ah, uh, it's a uh, middle. Uh, I don't know. I don't know enough about. Uh, Are you still boozing? No, I had two beers last night at the show, but I last Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, what's two beers? <laughs> Alcohol. Yeah, but that's not boozing. You would have said, "When was the last time you had beers?" I would have told you. Two beers is not boozing. I'm trying to figure out what to get you for Christmas. You're tough to shop for. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. What are you smiling at? Nothing. That makes me think you're getting me something real good. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Do you know how to pronounce sh- anything that rhymes with schmolex? Schmolex. Oh, really? <laughs> That'd be nice. Oh, well, yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> Call Navy Federal. I've been keeping you pretty nice the past six months, all right? Navy Federal appreciates it. <laughs> Got Kippy taking some of the load here. Um, if you gave him a Rolex, his response would be, this is going to look real nice in the window of the pawn shop around the corner. <laughs> you got to stay liquid around the holidays. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. The resale value on those things are noish. Mm-hmm. All right. I was going to reach out to our friend Paul Verzi and find out what kind of watch to get. 
And I was thinking about maybe picking up a watch over there in Parlez-vous Francais. Yeah. Get something cool French, top of the line over there. <laughs> you, you buy it under a guy in a trench coat. <laughs> guy, if you buy it from a guy in a trench coat under the <laughs> Eiffel Tower. <laughs> hey, you know where I can buy watches? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Um, no, like a French. I'm going to do a little research. What's a cool French watch company? Yeah. Something none of these bums over here will have when I see him on the scene. Because <laughs> as you know, I'm, I'm tightening everything up. Yeah. yeah, new pants, everything. Oh yeah, shit! Uh, ne- next stop, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got new pants that I'm gonna wear every day for the next six months. I thought you'd be more impressed Kippy by the hat. hat. That's a nice hat. Yeah, it's a cool hat. It's RVCCN. It's RU. Whatever. Yeah, something cool. Surf company. Yeah, Ruka. Yeah. I believe it is Ruka. Yeah, R U C A. R U C A. Really? Yeah, it's a U. I believe. Yeah. I got, I got some Ruka. Ruka, come on. What are you doing? You know I'm a Ruka man. Pick up a couple sponsors. It'd be nice. What are you, we're, we're chock full of sponsors. I got Ladder. Get, I get got Bespoke. I got Express VPN. What do you need? Get me on I the got... Maui Invitational. <laughs> Riding the Helix on the Someone, big waves. Someone's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a California King. <laughs> hanging 10. <laughs> Where's Foley? You're out there sleeping. <laughs> That's how we do it. <coughs> uh, Got to shake them down, by the way. Who? Helix. Why? I need a mattress. I just bought one yesterday. You bought one? I bought a king-size mattress. What are you doing with your old one? Why? Do you want it? <laughs> Off air, we'll talk. <laughs> it's, it's a gift for somebody. Would that be fucked up if I gave him a used mattress? If you gave him a free used mattress from me? Yeah. That... Who? I'm sorry. Can I help you? Who is it for? <laughs> if it's not for the homeless guy down the block. I'd rather not say it. Who? who no, say it. Toby Cut. No, I will not say it. No. You were going to give your parents my old no, mattress. No, mom. Shut up. <laughs> she don't know what's going on. Wouldn't be the first time she was on it. <laughs> I'm kidding, Patty. Really. Ma, you, you fucking Patty, bullshit. Patty, it's the holidays. I'm all hopped up on Nutty Irishman. You going to take that shit down from this bald fuck? Come up here and scull you. He'd rib you real quick. He'd tune you up. Goddamn veteran. <laughs> Fucking dirt ball. Run in your mouth. Kibby's trying so hard not to spit <laughs> on his computer. <laughs> who cares? You got the new one coming in anyway. By holy, the way, who gets- Holy shit, bald fuck <laughs> was the meanest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> uh, give it a couple of days. A couple more of these workouts. So you I'll bald- be cursing at you in tongue. <laughs> you bald fuck. <laughs> Wow, that's like you. That's that's up there with that tub of shit. Uh, that tub of shit's great. <laughs> hey, lardass, no. keep it moving. <laughs> lardass will sting you too. That'll put you on your heels. Look out! Oh my Thanks. God, bald. Fuck. Get over here, lardass. Just rattled me, dude. Lardass, you weren't the- trying to be funny. <laughs> bald fuck is just that you fat fuck. Talking just- about fornicating with my mother. On a used mattress. <laughs> Anywho, back to business. I need. I, 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 we can put the screws what? in to get one. No, we can't. Why not? What? No. No. Um, I thought we could put this. I thought they just re-upped. I thought get a new one every campaign. No. Make a little fort in here. <laughs> <laughs> All mattresses. Stamps.com, Stamps.com, Stamps.com. I love Stamps.com. Stamps.com? Gang, you don't want to be wasting time in the post office. Use Stamps.com, especially around the holidays, Place right? jam-packed in there. Oh, my God. Forget it's like 100 degrees in there. You got some bad sweater on. Mm-hmm. Do it all from the privacy and the comfort of your own home. Yeah, guys, whether you're selling online, running an office, or a side hustle, Stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and stress during the holidays. You get access to all post office and UPS shipping services you need without taking the trip to the post office. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to look for parking. You ain't got to wait in line. We use it. I'm a big stamps.com guy. Love it. You got the printer. I send out all the cards, the merch that way. Beep, beep, beep. Prints it all out. Easy peasy. Yeah. Uh, you'll save time and money. You'll be wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Uh, sign up with promo code GARBAGE for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts required. Just go to stamps.com. Clip, click the microphone at the top of click the, the page and a promo code garbage one more time stance.com promo code garbage do it yeah kip let's talk about decked decked i'm talking about decked drawer system Ooh. for your pickup truck for your work truck weatherproof mm-hmm. organized i remember when i was a a lonely a lowly laborer yeah 
working for a contractor. Uh huh. Always had to have the truck spotlessly clean. Mm -hmm. If tools went flying around, believe me, I would hear it from this guy. Yeah. He was a real dick, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this guy belonged on deck.com. And if he would have had decked, he wouldn't have been busting my chops because the van and the truck would have been would have been organized. Yeah, it's weatherproof, keeps your stuff safe from the rain, ice, snow, makes organizing and accessing everything you need much easier. Uh, they have two full-length bed drawers can carry up to 200 pounds of whatever you got. So it's built tough, baby. You got to do it. Um, they were nice enough. Uh, obviously, we don't have pickup trucks. We live in a city. You can't have a pickup truck in a city. Send me a sweet tea, though. Uh, did they? Oh, yeah. that's right. They did. Uh, they, and a koozie. They got koozies. Woo! That's all kind of company. Yeah. Uh, they were nice enough to send us one of these systems. I gave it to my stepdad. He's... He thinks he's like king shit at the job site. Yeah. He's like, oh, let me check my deck.com drawers. He's pulling it looks it cool. Yeah. He's just like, oh, let me think. I think the keys are over here, the whole nine yards. Uh, getting deck was the best thing that happened to his truck, especially this time of year. You know what I mean? You got to be flexing on people. That's right. Um, protect your stuff. Uh, you don't want a cold hammer. Get deck drawer system at deck.com slash garbage and get free shipping. That's deck.com slash garbage for free shipping on your deck drawer system. Deck.com slash garbage. Do it now. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. This is let's a fucking family cues. episode, guys. So as you know, when you sign up for Patreon, yes. we will answer your questions on That's the right. <laughs> you choose. It's time to play. <laughs> Who wants to be a piece of trash? Oh, I love that guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. That movie fucking rocks. Yeah. I don't know how they got those little kids to do that. Talking about Slumdog Millionaire. If you haven't seen the film, do yourself a favor. It's a hot, hot piece of film. Yeah. Uh, guys, so as you know, like I said before, I was rudely interrupted by this fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's fat piece of shit. <laughs> I remember my wrestling coach. Uh, I was getting fucking just. We were like doing some like really long like endurance drills, and I was I was like a sophomore. Fucking still had my fucking baby the fat. Hundred, the hundred meter jog. <laughs> <laughs> the the two hundred meter nap. <laughs> The 400 meter cramp. What are we doing? I did really good in the five step relay race. Um, this is like some senior, some kid that ended up going to the Naval Academy. I was wrestling and he mm -hmm. was fucking twisting me up like a pretzel. And my shirt was like up, like my tits were out yeah. and like my gut. And like he had me like stretched out like that. And my assistant wrestling coach walked by. He's like, yeah, get his fat ass. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Um, I thought we'd wear makeup and hit each other with chairs. <laughs> Where's the butt plug? <laughs> uh, guys, so when you sign up for Patreon, we'll answer your question on the air. We got some fucking heaters. Uh, worked through most of the backlog, by the way. There are only a handful of people. It's, you know, it's tough. Some people ask questions. Backlog's trashy, too. When you say I got a backlog. Hey, we got a backlog. I when know I you, say it I, or no, in no, general? when you say well. A lot of things you say sounds trashy because you're garbage. Vodka. <laughs> oh, that one vodka. hit me. Vodka without vodka. a D. Vodka. Vodka. Two vodka sodas. Ugh, some drunk vodka. Vodka. Absolute and tonic. Ugh. That's a Nisi special right vodka there. Vodka Red Bull. That's the fucking. That's what they drink in the Hall of Fame of trash. I used to love that. Yeah. Vodka soda and a little. <laughs> nice. Okay. Talking about the holidays, but I digress. Yeah. Um. So first one coming in from speaking of sleeping. This is a pretty good one. Nice. Never thought of this. This is from Jesse. When you would sleep over at someone's house, would you shower there or wait till you got back to your own house? It's weird. I remember having a shower at a couple kids' houses because of something, and you're just being like. It's like it's like being in another dimension. You're like, what kind of soap are you using? I feel like you're in a bad hotel. <laughs> oh yeah. It's no. Like... I've had rich friends that I wanted to get in there. Yeah. Like fucking real nice. Mom had the real expensive towels, mm -hmm. nice Macy towels, mm -hmm. body wash. First time I used body wash was not in my home. No. Patty Foley did not buy body wash sure. until her back was up against the wall. Pat well, they got that got real commercialized in the 90s, like late 90s and stuff. <laughs> you know, I and mean, before it was tough to get your hands on. You had to go to a specialty shop or something. It wasn't just at the Super Fresh. That Herbal Essence, when that hit the streets. <sighs> man. That was, I mean, I used that as everything. I brushed my teeth with that shit. <laughs> yeah. Man. Fucking hot chicks and flowers. Come on. <laughs> man. I'm yeah, all those topless broads. They oh. got real, dude. That framing was, those commercials. Real Woo! seductive. Give Kippy a little stinger. Yeah, a girl with the curly red hair. That and some of the uh, Irish Spring commercials with those broads. 
They would get out there in the, the dewy meadows. <laughs> sweaters, sweaters really turn you on, huh? <laughs> sweaters and Jeff caps. <laughs> Cabby <ass. laughs> Give me a sheep and a cane, you know what I mean? <laughs> Rock hard. Um, By the way, real quick, <laughs> Ian called me the other day. He's been calling Ian, me nonstop. Our good friend Ian Finance. I, hey, guys, you're back through. And he's like, I'm off the cane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off the cane. Shout out to Ian Finance. Shout love, out to Mr. Finance. Um. <clears throat> so to answer your question, <laughs> great, brilliant question, by the way. Um, when, they, when it was a nice house, I was all about, I would stay there. I want to stay there for the weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Trouble at home. Not, <laughs> 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 Just letting things cool off. Um, my mom used to get real pissed about that, too. What? She wasn't a fan of me sleeping out. Why don't you want to be here? Don't you want to be here? <laughs> She's really taking a lot of heat these days. Yeah. I apologize. I love you, Patty. Working, um, sounds like you're working through some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this Italian broad's opening up some doors. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, that have been closed for a very long time. Uh, we always had the one or two houses. That, like, we, I would only, sh- it was like you would only shower if you were, I guess if you like. There's hey, usually no need for a shower at a. At you the, shouldn't be there that long. That's no, what I'm saying. No, why would you? Yeah, just a regular run-of-the-mill sleepover. If you're getting picked up at like 11 o'clock in the morning, like after breakfast or If whatever. that was the norm for this kid, there some, was something else going on. Yeah. There was a VHS camera somewhere <laughs> high up on an angle. Yeah. Nobody's showering. <laughs> yeah. No, that's too weird. I've definitely done it. I remember. I can like picture being in. At that, when you're that young and you're in someone else's shower, that's an away game. You don't know what's happening. If you're talking... Childhood sleepovers. That's one thing. No, you shouldn't be showering. They drop you off at six. You have your pizza. Throw fucking gremlins in. Fucking play the video games. Lay down. Goof around. Ba 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 ba. You Tummy get sticks. up. There's breakfast, and you're out the fucking door. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> oh yeah, a little touchy touchy, huh? A little grabby grabby. No. I don't know how you just did it. Uh- <laughs> but if it's a high school sleepover, unless you got to go to workers, like if you know, like you're, like. Say, like, your parents went out of town, and, like, Pat and everybody ended up crashing at your place after the party. Oh, out of town. If they got to go to work, like, say he had to go to a shift at the grocery store, hey, you care if I grab a shower before I go to work? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of That's course. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you shouldn't. No, what? No. If I came home from a fucking sleepover. Showered it, with your hair done? <laughs> <laughs> New set of drawers? <laughs> <laughs> My underwear on backwards? Oh, man. They would have been in the car fucking killing people. You crazy? Yeah, no. Can't do that. Mm-mm. Um, Nuts. Yeah, it's wild. You ever have friends growing up? You ever do <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the second time you made that joke. <laughs> About a year ago. Hit just as hard, too. Did you do anything like that? I don't remember. I I have like vaguely remember showering at, a, at friends' places and then like getting out and getting dressed as quickly as possible. Like yeah. feeling that like kinda, was... you still got suds rolling down your feet. And <laughs> yeah, stuff. it's like I, I want to be naked for as little time as mm-hmm. humanly possible. Well, that's another thing too. It's but now I can never do. I can't get. I can't shower and get dressed in the bathroom. That's that's psychotic. I got to walk out, let the cold air hit me. I need my whole, I walk around my apartment naked while I'm getting ready. You got to let the air get sure, you. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah. space. Uh-huh. The thought of fucking showering and getting dressed in a bathroom, I mean, that's like prison. Yeah, I've done it. Boncos. Uh, yeah, I can do it, but then, yeah, you're, you're you only, only when you're real fucking hemmed up. If you walk out of the bathroom with your shoes on, that's a bad look. <laughs> Shoes and socks on. Me and Kimmy were talking about this at dinner. <laughs> Have you ever, if you for sure changed in a public bathroom? Dude, buddy, we were fucking changing. I was shaving in between auditions at Chipotle's. Fucking brutal. Yeah. So this was our question. So anytime we've done that, me and Kippy will take our shoes off and then stand on our shoes. Oh, fuck yeah. Was that was that your move, or would yeah. you go would you go socks on the floor of the bathroom? Well, I mean, you know, at a certain point. When you're living in there, yeah. Uh, when you get so, when you when you when you become so desperate, you know you abandon humility. Yeah, I'm uh, shaving in a Chipotle bathroom. I can put my socks on the get floor. Get a little more guac. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to use it as aftershave. I know it's more expensive. <laughs> I know it's an additional fifty cents. Just give me the guac. Shaving with a tortilla chip. <laughs> 
Um, they used to do this in my old day job that I used to have there before the great folks over there at uh, Patreon.com. <laughs> Take a shower at lunch. In no, people would brush their teeth in the bathroom, which I get like after lunch or whatever. But like I'm talking, dude, this bathroom. So it was a high rise, uh, on, you know, on Central Park South. Like, you know, it was like a high rise. So it's like not a lot of fucking space. These bathrooms are tiny. There was one urinal. And, like, your shoulders could touch, like, the wall and the the guard for the stall. There was two stalls that were Not real fucking Not a good place for the tight. deuce, I would say. Bad spot for the deuce. Then sometimes you're in there, both people are deuce, and someone's peeing. There'd be a guy brushing his teeth. Ugh. And I'm like, bro, like, my asshole is open six feet away from you. This Ugh. is disgusting. And, like, it would fucking blow Get one of those wisps mind. things. Those wisps are some fucking... Mouthwash. Yeah, something. it would blow. And like this one guy was just in there all the time doing it. was insane. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not. I can't do that. That's crazy. Can't me. stand other other men's poops. Mm-mm. Women's will knock you on your socks too every once in a while. But another man's, uh, something about it. Yeah, it's, uh, you feel like, yeah, it's way too intimate. If I feel like I have to poop so my smell dominates. You know Maybe what that's I mean? what bears do. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about the grizzly. <laughs> the North American fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> the North American fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're having a good time today. Fat to Maximus. <laughs> um, say, we're, let's stay in a bedroom while we're here. This is from Joe. Uh, I like it. This is from Joseph. First time, long time. I like that they're doing the that. Uh, first time, long time. When taking a shower, where do you put put the towel? Do you put it on top of the toilet with the toilet seat down like a bozo or the towel rack like a gentleman? What's your standard operating procedure? Standard operating procedure is I tend to uh, get water everywhere. Sure. And I get yelled at for it. I can imagine. Yeah. It's it's like you're, it's like a, like a self-serve car wash. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have a little hook that go, that she put next to the, like, all I have to do is open the curtain, grab the towel, sure. and I dry off a little bit in the tub. Yeah. I don't just step out like an asshole. Uh-huh. I used to. I did that up until, uh, I didn't know. I don't, I guess I had bad parents or, no one told me that you're supposed to, like, dry off kind of in the shower or, but like, on I would literally no walk. No idea. Because we always had carpet in the bathroom when I was a kid. So wow, I just got right on it. Roll around. <laughs> <laughs> Using that as a towel. It's a good exfoliator, too. <laughs> um, I didn't know until my grandparents. I mean, we were young. I was probably in, like, junior high. And my grandparents were staying with us. And we had a share of, like, the bathroom in the hallway they would use as well. Ooh, that's always a rough time. Yeah, the dentures and the fucking mm. sitting there. <laughs> Small grandpa's dumps. Yikes. <laughs> oh, man. Talk about the holidays. Holy. Um, Yikes. So he, uh, <laughs> my grandma goes. <laughs> Those World War II vets, they just shit different. I don't know why. Just the, They got the old spice they don't even make anymore. Oh, yeah. Mix that in with a little fucking stroganoff or whatever he had last night for dinner. Yikes. It's always very corny. Um. <laughs> No, my grandma finally said to me one time, she's like, what are you doing in the bathroom? And I'm like, what? I just combing my hair. (laughs) (laughs) I was shaving. (laughs) I was jerking off. All right, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Fucking grill me over here. I was slapping it. (laughs) 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 That's that's so funny. Just go to your grandma. I was jerking off. (laughs) I was wailing away on myself. (laughs) <laughs> I was hammering in the nails. I got to spell it out for you? What the fuck do you think I was doing in there, you dumb broad? I was re the tub. At one point, you were just naming, like, actual uh, home improvement things. <laughs> I was putting in a skylight. <laughs> We're going to get two fucking two questions. Getting um, the bathroom redone when you were Remember, they'd come far and wide to look at your new fucking shower curtain. <laughs> Our family would come over. No. <laughs> uh, the upstairs bathroom for us was all, you don't go upstairs. Who doesn't? Like when we, have, we would have guests over. What do you mean guests? Like when we were entertaining. 
You like, never went upstairs at someone's who, house. like movie stars and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you Marilyn talking Monroe's. about? Your other dirtbag family members? Is that those your guests? You hear that guy? He's calling you dirtbags. <laughs> They know what they are. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes, they do. That's why I love them. Meet me at Sam's. We'll get a slice. <laughs> um, guess. What do you, who's, who's a guest? You just didn't go upstairs. What, do you guys, were you, the kids weren't playing in the rooms? And It'd be a little. That's where the coats went. Yeah. The coats went on a bed upstairs. Yeah, but you don't like you weren't like you weren't going from like room to room peeking around. That's private areas. Really? Yeah. A bunch of weirdos. Now, so say I'm a cousin. Yeah. I got to take a dump. How old are you? I'm 45. You're my 45-year-old cousin over my house now. Oh, I think. And you got to take a dump? No. I'm in college. I'm at your house. And you got to drop a heater at dinner. Do I have to ask Nisi if I can go upstairs and fucking squat one out? No, I feel that's... You shouldn't be dumping at a family dinner, though. What? If you got to poop, what are you going to do? I'm not saying... Sure. I what? Don't, I don't know if I've ever pooped at a cousin's house like that. <laughs> pooped? Anywhere and everywhere, bro. I understand. I'm not one to like, by by all means, I'll pull the trigger. Okay, I just, so let me I ask you this. At the airport two days so ago. I'm your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to fucking Newark. <laughs> International. Say I'm your say I'm your cousin. I'm over for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I assume you would go up you would go upstairs to that bathroom. Okay, so what if I just went upstairs and, and peed? Hey, I gotta Shh. pee real quick. You okay with that? Yeah, of course. Okay, so it's not off limits. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, I'm not rooting through the panty drawer. Well, yeah, I'm not. Yes, if you're going, I'm saying if you're not going up there to use the bathroom, there's no other reason to be up there. Is what I'm saying. I'm oh, not saying yeah. it's off limits, but like That's what we you're call, not going to be like, hey, what what's going on upstairs? Behavior. Yeah, you're not just fucking hanging yeah. out upstairs. A party is downstairs. Yeah, you're looking That's for some. Root, you're looking for some root canal medicine. That's yeah. what you're looking for. Uh, but uh, back to I. <laughs> what. The kid knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's called drug seeking behavior. Didn't one of you break an ankle recently? <laughs> <laughs> I used to always keep that in the back of my mind. Who's getting their wis- that, who's getting their wisdom teeth yeah. out, am I right? I'd have that schedule lined up. Is that knee still hurt from college or what's going on? <laughs> Man. At the beginning of that whole thing, they didn't know what, what was going on. You opened up anybody's medicine cabinet, and it was like, ah! <laughs> Open up a closet, you see a walking boot? <laughs> 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 Whose crutches are those? <laughs> are those crutches fresh, or what's going on? <laughs> Checking the bottoms of it to see how dirty they are. Checking the tennis balls on a walker, see what the story is. These things are brand new. <laughs> Fucking party's about to get turned up. You hear that, Patty? <laughs> You're proud of your past? No. But I'm working through it. It's okay. Who said that? Not me. I know. Tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you feel about it. You put on a good face for public. <laughs> um... Shit, what the fuck were we talking about? I got lost there for a second. You're talking about no one can go upstairs in your house for no, some reason. No, but even reason. before that. No, no, it wasn't for some reason. It's just like my thing. Even You don't let guests upstairs. Do you put like a little rope on the bottom of the staircase? No, you're completely taking this out. Clothes of, for maintenance? <laughs> you're taking this out of context. What is what other reason other than going to the bathroom? And if why the, would you pee that's upstairs? Because that's where the video game console is, and the kids are up there playing. I don't know. They're playing hide-and-go-seek. They're playing kids. Tag. That's what I'm saying. Kids are different. Okay. Obviously, if the kids are running around playing. But, like, unless you're going up there to shit, there's no other reason to go upstairs at someone's house. Take a nap. That's what I'm saying. You should be taking a nap at a fucking family party. <laughs> you got to lay off the sauce if that's okay. <laughs> hey, can I go lay down? I got the spins. <laughs> <laughs> At Boone's Farm's really kicking in. The fuck's in that Martinelli's? Goddamn. Uh, Brooklinen. <sighs> Brooklinen. Brooklinen. Man, I'm talking about I feel like I shouldn't even be saying that word. It's so classy. Classy uh, stuff. Brooklinen is all right. Gang, do yourself a favor. Season for gift giving. Stop by Brooklinen and get somebody you care about. A nice set of sheets. Mm-hmm. Perfect presents for everyone on your wish list. They got stuff for the house, the bath, the bedroom, everything. Got it all. Um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn's goal was to create beautiful, high-quality home essentials that don't that don't break the bank. It's perfect place to find the best gift. 
Um, they started out with bedding, and now they have, like we said, all the essentials for every corner of the home. Whatever you want, they got it. Bedding's top shelf. Um, Brooklyn is comfort game is unmatched, and their lineup keeps getting better. And if you're looking for more ways to stay cozy, check out Brooklyn is candles, Ooh. eye masks, and accessories. Ooh. Take all the guesswork out of gift giving this time of year uh, with comfy crowd pleasers from Brooklyn. They send it. They send them to us. I got the towels, dude. I feel like I'm in. I feel like I'm in the Ritz in these things. Those candles fill the entire room. I'm gonna tell you that right dude, now. Dude, the towels are like a weighted blanket. Yeah, it's like, nice. Oof, you're engulfed in these things. It's fantastic. Soft. So give the gift of comfort this holiday season and save while you do it. Go to Brooklyn.com. Use promo code Garbage for twenty dollars off with a minimum purchase of one hundred dollars. We're talking cold hard cash. Twenty off. With a minimum purchase of 100 that's Brooklinen, B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code GARBAGE for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. Small bills, too. Do it. Gang, let's talk about the good people of Manscaped. Manscaped. Well, you love, we were talking about them last time. Woo. You were talking about office romances. I'm just saying it's a time of year. People are drinking. You're hanging. Happy hours. <laughs> office party. Punch bowls on your head. Next thing you know, your underwear is on backwards. You want to be coming correct down there. That's all I'm saying. You're talking like we live in an 80s movie or something. Like that. <laughs> That's where you're putting yourself. Hey, man, reality is whatever you make it. I wish you would have had that in the 80s because Manscaped keeps everything nice and tight and clean. Mm-hmm. The motor is real powerful. It doesn't make a lot of noise. You can use it in the shower. It's got a light on it. I'm telling you, man, this thing is a game changer. And as we said last week, the before and after photos. Ooh. You wouldn't even recognize I yourself. Know. Yeah. Uh, and th- you guys, with this holiday season around the corner, ladies, if you're a lady listener, which we got a lot of lady listeners, it's a great gift to get your man. Keep him, re- you know, it's you can tell him to be like, hey, keep it tight down there. It's you a know gift what I mean? for you too. Technically. It's a gift for everybody. It's a yeah. gift for the household. I'm pulling pubes out of your. And teeth. maybe the ma- neighbors, if you don't have blinds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, someone got me. It's a per- it's perfect for uh, any guy or gal in your life. It's fantastic stocking stuff or whatever you want. It's they got it all. So just go check out Manscaped. Um, and manscaped.com with promo code garbage. You'll save 20% off plus free shipping. It's easy peasy, whether it's your partner, your dad, your brother, your friend, get them the gift that'll actually, and plus it'll get a laugh too. You want to kill around a Christmas tree, get someone a ball trimmer. That'll really, <laughs> that'll really start the party. Hey, Grandpa, here you go. You get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com, promo code garbage. Be the ballsiest gift giver this year with yeah. Manscaped. Now back. To the show. show. Very All right, good. let's see. Um, what was the original question? That's what that? I'm trying to get back to. I kind of couldn't remember. Um, oh, where do you put the towel? That's the what it towel. was. Oh, then the grandparents. My grandma finally said, I used to get out. I used to leave. We had a towel rack on the back of the door at my mom's upstairs. And like, you have to get out to reach it. No, but it was like, you couldn't reach it from the, like, I mean, it was That's like. That's what I'm saying. You would have to get out of the tub to, to reach walk. It. Yeah. And like, it was like a five paces or whatever. And I would just stand there. Soaked. Soaking the whole fucking. Yeah. And then finally, my grandmom's like, what do you do? You don't dry off over the bath mat? Or, and I'm like, I never even crossed my mind. So now I do I do up to the legs. And then I get out and do the legs. You know, um, I don't want my towel touching the bathtub. Really? Huh. Um, you know you're in a really nice shower or a really nice hotel when there's a towel rack in the shower. In the, yeah, that's good. Where, like, the water, the thing is so big. That's so big that the shower can't yeah, reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some oh. of the trashy ones put it in there, even though it's like a regular size. It's gonna get soaked. Yeah, it's wet. just fucking soaked. The yeah. towel over the um, over the shower curtains trash too. That's what I do. Really? Well, ours. What are you in the navy? What the we fuck? have? Um, we have a towel rack that I just don't use for some reason. The one half of mine's kind of open, like the if the, the it's towel. Be, you're not gonna wrap your head around this. Uh, you have one of those. Sh- the you have the. Your faucet's in the middle of the tub, in right? In the middle. Yeah. Yikes. But it is like a waterfall, John, and it comes straight down in the middle. It's nice. Okay. That part's good. I'm not trying to say it's... But the one side by the shower is open, kind of. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it doesn't go all the way around. Like You have, you have a basin tub, a lion's foot tub, whatever it's called. Lion's foot? Lion's claw. No. You don't? I can't be talking to you if I had a fucking lion's tooth tub. My brother's got one. Lion's foot? Fantastic. Really? You know, the old school deep tubs? Yeah, they're the Never that... fucking used it. They don't use it. I'm like, have you taken a bath in there yet? I'm like, nah, we haven't. There. I'd be in there all the... I'd be getting calls in there. That's where I would run the operation from. Well, what operation? You got some things. Dominoes? <laughs> <laughs> you still doing the 555? What's the deal? Um. Yeah, I know. So what I you're hang over about. that, just because it's so like so. You have a round 
shower curtain. It goes from the wall and around. No. Right? All right. So I knew God, this. You're was... like a three stooge. That's no, weird. no, no, no. It goes from the wall and then cur- it's like. Yeah, it curves. But the whole thing isn't curved. It curves at the turn. Does okay. that make sense? It's yeah. like an L. I don't know. I know you don't know. That sounds like Lower East Side shit to me. Tenement. Listen, you Old live school. in Astoria, which stinks, by no, the way. Toby and I were we talking a- about it. That that place is going to be Dude. Rodeo Drive in a couple of years. Place is classy. It's fucking stinks. You're I was nuts. just back over there. Everybody's honking. There's fucking traffic. It. You're under the subway. There's an elevated subway. It stinks. Crazy. It prop. You can hear the train in every apartment. You can hear the train rattling. Mm-mm. It stinks. You. Where else have you lived, by the way? I was thinking this yesterday. You've never lived anywhere else. That's not true. Recently. I'll tell you. Recently, you I've haven't. I've lived. I grew up. I lived in Wilkesbury. I lived in Bluebell. No, Bell. I'm saying in New I York. I lived in Philly. I in lived New- in South Philly. I lived in uh, North Carolina. Yeah, they, no. All right. No. Z- so- Upper East Side, Murray Hill, Brooklyn, Bushwick, Sunset Park, Reggie and Cotton. Um, I'm saying... You still go with the chicken Harlem. I was up there a couple of times. Oh man, I remember her. Uh, <laughs> Cut that. Uh, but I'm saying, as an ad- I mean, you were an adult through 97 percent of those houses. But I'm saying, as a financially relatively independent adult, relatively with the first time you were on a lease mm. in re in the past decade the has first- only been in Astoria. There was yeah the, the apartment that the, the, the building well, the building, the building that you're I'm in now. now that's what I'm saying yeah first so that's l- all you know yeah as an as a rent paying a utility holding adult is a story you don't know anything else yeah what's your point a story is stinks no you're stupid I've lived in both it stinks it proper stinks let's move on let's agree to disagree no that's what losers say we I, were we were in the car and he started this exact rap and I was like just wait. In my head, I was like, wait, 30 seconds. 30 seconds later, he goes, it's a great place coming up. You know, I could really see myself raising a kid here. I was like, where's uh, the crazy going to come? There it there is. There it is. <laughs> Why is that crazy? It's like whack-a-mole. You're like, I know, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Here's Why is that dick. crazy? Because you were reminiscing about a situation we were currently in. <laughs> <laughs> I remember eating hot dogs there last week. <laughs> I got to have a kid out here. <laughs> Uh. (laughs) all right (laughs) fair enough back to the cues there bozo uh this one's great uh this is from tom level 10 homie never had had one read you ever been to a store that changed what it sold during the year a place in my town sells ski gear in the winter and patio furniture in the summer that is a tough look. Those Halloween pop-ups are weird, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like they just live in the back of a tractor trailer the rest the, of the year. They probably do, yeah. No, we have, we have, oh, yeah. The people that work there. We have an empty, which I think it used to be a gas station, so it's like an empty lot, and there's selling different things in there throughout the year. Wow. And I don't know if it's the same, it's like Christmas tree, Flowers. When you could recognize. Whatever, you know, just like random shit depending on the seer. Probably patio furniture. When you could recognize what it used to be is a tough look. Like when you know that insurance office used to be a Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's a bad one. Wendy's is a bad one too because they had the sunroom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wawa's too. The old, oh, when when it's not a Wawa. You're going to a dentist that's a Wawa. You're like, what the fuck? (laughs) Still has that smell. Uh, It's trash. Yeah. Gata Baggio. Um, fuck, what was I just going to say? God Jesus, fucking Alzheimer Andy over here. Get uh, folk. You, you need a, a Prevagen or fuck. something. An Adderall. God damn. You got any? Um, scam likely. <laughs> Stop calling me. Uh-oh. All over the place. I'm the one scamming around here. I really pissed off a, a scammer two days ago. Because I take the call. You're wasting their time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucking Trying dude. to burn and turn over here. Guy, they call me up and they say, um, they leave a message. Very, very authoritative. They're like, uh, uh, this is for Mr. Michael Foley. Uh, you need to call us back right away. A matter of TD Bank, blah, blah, blah. So I call. Touchdown them. Bank? It's touchdown. Yeah, they're fucking dragging them into the fucking <laughs> scam. So I called a guy back 
um, just to fuck with them. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, what, what's going on? Mm-hmm. They're like, um, they, so you wrote a check for $369 and it bounced, and, uh, and our client's trying us to recoup it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And they're like, hey, would you like to make that payment today? What am I, a fucking sucker? So I just, first of all, I'm doing an old man's voice. I'm doing, what? What happened? And then right when he's like, can I get the credit card information? I'm like, you fucking piece of shit, dirt bag. <laughs> You're fucking this. Guy calls me back. Yeah. Fucking pissed. Well, he can probably track you down. He did. He knew my name and everything. Yeah. Hey, listen here, you fat fuck. I don't even like your podcast. <laughs> Uh, it's just me. That's real scummy, though, man. What? You're calling and fucking trying to scam old people out of their fucking money. Because they do it. Does that, does that warranty thing work on anybody? Does that work? <laughs> like, sure. how dumb are we? I'm sure some people, yeah. Dude, who even has a warranty on their car like that? People? Old people don't know. Do I have a warranty? I thought it said 3000 I haven't talked to the dealership. Okay. it's. I told you I got my, my boy Big Gay Ants mom or grandmom they were like hey this is the las vegas pd we got your we got your grandson what? it's gonna be like you know two grand to get him out or something and i'm pretty sure she paid it jesus yeah something like that or that's... she called him like are you okay i just got a whatever yeah that's real fucked up man mm-hmm. scammers yeah um Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, da. All right, let's see. Haven't had one. Re- uh, haven't had one read yet. This is from Missouri Broad. Does anyone in your family own a strobe light? <laughs> I used to. I used to have a strobe light, and like when in like eighth grade, maybe when Spencer's gifts was like in full stride. Yeah, being give yourself a seizure. <laughs> we did have one friend who was epileptic that we couldn't have. You know. We had to unplug when he was around. Buzz killer. <laughs> Catch a heat. Hey, Mark, go out in the garage for a little while. <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm weird. trying to get my rave on. A <laughs> uh, uh, disco ball. Oh. How weak are you that you can get taken out by a flashlight? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know, man. The first time they put that on. Oh, yeah. Your screwballs. It's like it's like Blade. I don't know what's happening. That's like the Gravitron. The Gravitron almost killed me one time. I swear to God, I it felt. It starts revolving around you. <laughs> <laughs> A black the hole DJ's forms. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who steps out. Yeah. Um, that was my favorite ride, hands down, ever. Wildwood Boardwalk, Gravitron, Maury's Pier, go down there, up on the left, right before you get to the Nor'easter. Love the fucking Gravitron. Yeah, huh? Loved it. I could do everything. I could go upside down. I could lean out and touch the puzzle doing tricks in there. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty good. That dude in the center was a pedophile. <laughs> no doubt. That was pre-wreck. Yeah. That was a good time. Dirt ball in there. Um, Cranking journey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Strobe lights are trashy. They're the trashiest. You walk in in somebody's basement, they have a fucking disco ball. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. dirt bag city. That's a big thing people try to do is like the bar that never gets used, right? <laughs> Talking about the basement bar? The, yeah. My dad had a hot one in the 80s. Unless you're really used. entertaining. But you're not. I don't think people are doing that that much. Glasses are dusty. Yeah, There's you no get down there like there. no one's been down. I can feel <laughs> the energy. No one's been down here in six months. You know what I mean? And then they're like, let's hang at the That's bar. That's got the wife and kids breaking his balls. Well, they're they're like, it's time to go down there. They're like, let's hang at the bar. And you're just like sitting down there. You're like, this is so set up. We're all just acting like we're not, you know. We all know what's going on here. This stinks. What are we doing? There's a bedroom right next to me for for crying out loud. The bedroom in the basement. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, oh, bueno. I, this one's for <laughs> what? No way. Bueno. <laughs> I never liked the bedroom in the bed like that. I just slept in one last weekend. Put in my brother's guest bedroom it's is downstairs? in the basement. Yeah. Well, there's yeah, there's a guest bedroom downstairs. And it's on the far end, on the far side, away from the stairs. And I need about 37 beers for me to go night-night in there because it gets scary. <laughs> <laughs> the spiders have spiders. Oh, <laughs> man. It's real fucking sketchy. I ain't doing that. <laughs> All right, this one's from RJ. Haven't had a question read yet. Ever steal a street sign? <laughs> 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 Which I'm sure we've mentioned before. 100%. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had a proper street sign. The big one that was in Sea Isle City that would get stolen all the time because there was Pleasure Avenue mm. and 69th Street. Really? So 69th Street and Pleasure would get stolen, like, weekly to the point where I think they just stopped putting it up because they're like, 
So many drunk people would be walking home from the bar and be yeah. like, give me this. My fraternity was mostly engineers. And so... <laughs> Sounds like a real fucking party house. Hey, E equals MC squared. <laughs> Shut up, nerd. <laughs> Boy, Fuck. we made the world fastest beer bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow, what a what a group We've of... We've improved the slip and slide. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I'm no. sure you guys were batting away with the stick. That come with your own pocket protectors, or what do you guys have to do? <laughs> hey, for pledge, everybody studies 37 <laughs> hours. Go. <laughs> Everybody's got tape on their glasses. Real fucking nerd shit. Dude, the party last night was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hank put together an erector set without the instructions. <laughs> he was blindfolded. <laughs> I was up till nine. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> That's the fraternity you've been bragging about, engineers, <laughs> this whole time. Train engineers. <laughs> they were a wild they bunch. All, they all got the hat on and the overalls. <laughs> <laughs> it was a party house, man. We had a good time. Um, anyway, they could. They... Everybody's drinking out of beakers and stuff. <laughs> Foley just did 37 milliliters. <laughs> Don't do it, mean. <laughs> you stink. Dude, that and someone tweeted the clip of when you were talking about the glory days in college football. And I said, you, <laughs> you were a drug addict who played D3. Piece of shit. Oh, Foley's glory days. I want to see how you view them in your head. What soundtracks playing and stuff like that? Pearl Jam, probably. Um, anyway. Anywho. These guys were pretty good, and they could, like, take shit and put shit apart. Um, put shit apart? T- t- they could take things apart and put it back together. Mm-hmm. They stole a uh, a light, a traffic light, like a proper traffic light. Brought it in, fucking hooked it up. It's fucking cool. For like 10 minutes. Yeah. Still. Pretty sweet. Sounds it. Man, <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you try to go back. You thought, I mean, we just made fun of you and these guys for like 12 minutes. You thought a, a cool traffic light story was going to button it up. Foley, get in here. We're building each other girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you all got bras on their heads? <laughs> like in weird signs? <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for a thunderstorm and we'll be A-OK. <laughs> Wait for a thunderstorm. <laughs> we just need some purple lightning and she'll be alive. Man, you stink, dude. Dude, that movie. Talk about fucking spank bank. I was too I was too yeah, I was, yeah, you were too I was young. way too young. Dude, weird science. Anthony Michael Hall was so fucking funny. Yeah. I saw him one time. Really? Yeah, he was a real dick. What? Yeah. You know my friend. Uh, keep this vague. Our friend that works in hotels in Boston. Yes. Uh, they were working a very nice hotel, and he came in as like real VIP or like thought he was. This isn't like 2017. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and he was had all these demands, and so he had a hot piece, hot little number. With ah, him. I remember this story. Yeah, and he was like had all these demands. Was acting like a real fucking jerk off. And oh, it's like that sucks. Dude, you had a, your last movie was 35 years ago. Loved him as a kid. Fucking Weird Science, 16 Candles. Fucking kid did it for me. Loved him. That's sad to see. <laughs> Man, uh, <laughs> All right, let's do a couple of more. Here. You said that like you're a more successful guy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> Hate to see it happen. He was a good kid. I wish him well. Now, anywho, <laughs> can someone tie my shoes? <laughs> Michael, if you're watching, reach out to me. See if I can, see if I can help you out. Hate to see it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Good kid. Uh, Give me a call. <laughs> Man, this is a fun one. Let's go, Bozo. Making fun of my fraternity friends. It was a fucking cool house. We used to have parties where we we handed out joints. There's only a couple guys there. <laughs> we did it. We did have a sorority. One time a girl showed up. <laughs> <laughs> we all panicked. <laughs> it was it was Johnson's sister, but still. <laughs> Everybody play it cool. Mahoney's <laughs> mom came one time. Everybody passes out. <laughs> we all fainted. 
Here's a couple of wine coolers in the fridge if you want them. Oh, man. We did have a sorority cancel on a mixer one time. <laughs> man, if that's not the... Hey, that fat one's not going to be there, is he? I wasn't fat back then, dickhead. <laughs> they knew. They had a crystal ball. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No way I'm getting tied down with this elephant. <laughs> oh. Guys, bad news. The girls found out we're fucking dorks. <laughs> Who told them? <laughs> I told you to keep your mouth shut until they got here. Who let Feechman out of his room? <laughs> oh. We did have a kid named What did they his say? Nick, his nickname was, was, was Fishman. <laughs> He used to just fucking huff nitrogen and just fucking pass out like a mummy. Just fall back and hit his head. Man, you guys are fucking beating him off, huh? Why did, why did the girls say they canceled? Because <laughs> we stunk. Hey, we, I, I know, but what reason? Hey, we all have a midterm in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we got finals. This is the beginning of the semester. <laughs> it's the third week. Classes haven't even started. Hey, me and the girls talk. We're all going to stay virgin. <sighs> No, they didn't say anything. All, we all decided to save ourselves for so not I, losers. I remember three of the worst ones showed up and gave us the bad news. Hey, the rest of the girls aren't coming. They all went to a party. But we're still at a party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They just came by to see if we had any ice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Holy shit. I didn't know you guys were all engineers. I wasn't a fucking engineer. Yeah. I mean, that's where you were rolled in. You didn't also didn't graduate. I said some of the older guys were engineers. It's not like the whole house was. I was a fucking living in the Ghostbusters. Who fucking... said I was in a fraternity, fraternity full, full of, of engineers. engineers? Yeah, full of engineers. That was Everybody was an engineer. I was a hotel and restaurant manager. <laughs> Turned into a waiter slash pill head. <laughs> this is like an M. Night Shyamalan level twist. I pledged fucking my sophomore year before I got to know the guys on the lacrosse team. If I would have known the guys on the lacrosse team, I would have pledged five sig and would have been okay. Yeah, it said you're over there with the dorks on the chess team. <laughs> yeah. Check and mate. <laughs> and that's how you play Connect Four, ladies. And that's how I touch the boo. <laughs> All right, let's just fucking wrap we it up. We built the fucking potato gun. <laughs> yeah, as a class project. <laughs> as for the science fair. Uh, all right, let's wrap it up. Oh, God, man, I'll, I'll never look at you the same. What are you talking about, dickhead? You were a do- it's I'll all coming you out. You can only right lie now. for so long. What do you mean? We've we were, the, we were the drug episodes. party. We were the drug party house. There was just a lot of engineers that, that were there. They were dorks anyway. We hated them. The younger <laughs> guys were all I cool. Keep myself a wedgie. Toby, cut this. I got a rep to protect. We'll see no, you next week. You were a dork, dude. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Uh, come out. I don't know exactly when it's come out, but if uh, it's for this week of we're going to be in upstate New York and Connecticut, come out to those 14th, live shows. 14th, 15th, and 16th. Hartford, Albany, Syracuse. Yeah. We're fucking also, doing a trail. Guys, go subscribe to the YouTube page. We yeah. have something dropping. Hint, yes. hint. Go subscribe right now. It's going to be really cool. We don't want to look like bozos. Appreciate all. Fun. All hands on deck when this thing drops. Appreciate the support. Love you guys. Love you. Peace.